And when I stood at that spot, reason it got to me is George Floyd's story has been the story of black folks. Because ever since 401 years ago, the reason we could never be who we wanted and dreamed to be in is you kept your knee on our neck. We were smarter than the underfunded schools you put us in, but you had your knee on our neck. We could run corporations and not hustle in the street, but you had your knee on our neck. We had creative skills. We could do whatever anybody else could do. But we couldn't get your knee off our neck. What happened to Floyd happens every day in this country in education, in health services, and in every area of American life. It's time for us to stand up in George's name and say, get your knee off our necks. That's the problem no matter who you are. We thought maybe we had a complex, T.I., maybe it was just us. But even blacks that were broke through, you kept your knee on that neck. Michael Jordan won all of these championships, and you kept digging for mess because you got to put a knee on our neck. White housewives would run home to see a black woman on TV named Oprah Winfrey and you mess with her because you just can't take your knee off our neck. Man comes out of a single parent home, educates himself and rises up and becomes the president of the United States. And you ask him for his birth certificate because you can't take your knee off our neck. The reason why we're marching all over the world is we were like George. We couldn't breathe, not because there was something wrong with our lungs, but be you wouldn't take your knee off our neck. We don't want no favors. Just get up off of us, and we can be and do whatever we can be. <laughs> 